okay let's do this uh, today we'll be making um, I'll, I'll be showing you how I make my oatmeal and pineapple that I like to eat so much every single day it's better than pie it's better than cake I feel good after I eat it I feel good when I'm eating it it's delicious I, I, there's no guilt after you eat it I would I keep saying that I would like to do blueberries I just went to the grocery store and I also went I had to take parcels to the post office today so I did end up buying things and I even bought I went to um, there's a thrift store next to well did I really have to go to the Dollar Tree no but I did buy things it's not a safe Saturday so I don't know if we'll talk about that but I will I will talk about me buying a a shower head. The shower head that I have right now, I think I got it on Amazon, and it has a filter on it. Uh, here, here's a tip. Here's a tutorial Tuesday. Use use a use a paper clip. What do you call this? Bowl clip. It has a tie clip. I do it all the time. It tucks really cool into the blazer too. I don't know if this situation is working. I like to use kilt pins, and yeah, see when you when you do up your blazer, this this will tuck into here, and it just it just kind of looks really cool. I made that up. I've been doing it for years. Anyway, so I wore some of the clothes. I wore blue jeans today. I never wear blue jeans. My, this is, I guess this is my favorite. It's a nylon belt, but it must be my favorite one because it's the one that I wear all the time. I probably have some nice leather belts. I'll probably, I should probably look to see what I have. It's probably because it's the most recent belt that I bought. Uh, my favorite tie I have on today, the tie that goes with everything. I, I just, uh, I, I only have my, my bed today because I, uh, had to make a toy video and then I had to get those parcels to the post office and I knew that once I'm once I'm near once I'm near one store that's near another store that's near another store and I did go to Toys R Us oh and I did buy a mouse we're gonna make oatmeal I have to eat something I don't even know what time it is it's probably almost 8 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet so I get really I get really attached and really like um, proud and defensive and I don't know everything when I when I buy something even if it's from the dollar store I I I love it so much however I don't know on this keyboard the one that I was using stopped functioning I think I did talk about that in the video however this one which I also got at the dollar store I don't like the shape of it. I don't, I really don't like the colors. None of those things are what I like in a mouse. So I saw this one and then I said, "You're you you're probably going to have to throw this whole computer out in uh, a month or two. So why would you do that?" But it was less than I would have paid for a mouse at the dollar store. Well, yeah, because they don't have tax at this place. So it was $5.50. It's a really, it's more my style. It's a, it's a fantastic uh, company for, it's a great mouse. It's a brand new mouse. I needed a mouse. I bought the mouse. They also had a shower head. Inside my shower head, you, there was a clear filter and it's black. And I'm, I'm hoping it's not mold because it could, but also I, it has charcoal pieces in it. And it also, the last time I took it apart to clean it, it also had a black washer in it that was kind of disintegrating. So I'm thinking that's what the black stuff is that's in the filter. Nonetheless, and I also have other filters for it, but it doesn't have adjustable nozzles on it. It doesn't like, you know, your shower head has to have adjustable settings. And the one that I have right now doesn't. And this one does. This is like a $40, at least, $40 shower head. And it was only, and it's brand new, and it was only, seven, eight, what, $9? Yeah, $9. They had two different ones. They had ones. They had one. They had one. They had two different kinds. Moen is the best name in, uh, in bath stuff. 
but they also had another one that I didn't recognize the name for the same price and it was more aesthetically pleasing that one's that one looks like this mouse here it's not not my style the other one was really kind of cool but it only had four settings and it was a brand name I never heard of before but for the same price maybe I should have gotten that one I don't need seven settings I mean I like hard stream and soft stream are perfectly fine for me loving my I love my new hat so much speaking of being proud of stuff that you buy at the dollar store I love this hat is so nice I hope we get one today I think we will uh, we'll open up the advent calendar bag right now I love this hat and then this is this is the other this is the hat that I bought afterwards where they had another it's not it doesn't look like the other ones anyway but they didn't have it in stock when I bought the six of these I'm getting six of these something we haven't got that I'm gonna put out there because I kind of want today my feeling is that we're going to get figs which I really love but I don't really need to eat figs today. Guess what? You know what? I don't have to eat them. I don't have... If I pull them out of the bag, I don't have to eat them today. I feel like having chestnuts. Very Christmassy. And I bought six bags of chestnuts. There's six bags of chestnuts in here. So I think I did. I think I bought six bags of dates, six bags of chestnuts, six bags of those macadamia nuts that we already got twice. Uh, I forget what else we got. Oh, and the almonds. I must have bought six bags of almonds. And we got almonds twice, too. What's up with that? Okay. So, the bag... I'll look for the bag, that, any bag that looks like it's falling apart. That one over here, probably... I mean, I can shift them all around, but that one's probably getting in my way the most. There's one over here that looks like the bottom's coming out of it, though. Uh, I'm not gonna feel it or anything. I, I have I put them up so randomly and I stuffed them, not so randomly though. Like I put, I lined all the bags up. I put in uh, one one food item, one uh, one necessity item. Sometimes I think it ended up being a food. I think this is the one we're taking. I mean, it's one of. It's one of the fatter bags. Before we before we look inside, let's put uh, the clothespin. This is this is the fun part. Let's put the clothespin on the sculpture. This is kind of like an advent calendar in itself, making 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 the sculpture. As soon as we finish that, we can add another layer to it. I don't know. I like it. And then. Uh oh. And then we can add this to the pine cone garland that is being created. What's the, oh yeah, here. I stick this through this loop and then it just makes it longer. And then we'll just hang that here. Pine cone garland, you gotta, you gotta love that. And let's take a look what's in here. It's fun, presents every day. Toy presents in the morning. And then this present is so gorgeous. I have no idea. Is it soft? Is it another hat? It's another hat. Yes. That's a good one. Canada. So I like to flip it like, oh, we'll wear it normal. I, I don't know if any of them are blue. They're so retro, cute, cool. Oh man, I'm so happy with these, and they're not like stretching out because I have been wearing them. <sighs> However, I don't, I won't normal. Maybe when it gets colder, I will be wearing it like that. But until then, I like to wear them like this. Cute. Well, this, I don't know how cute it is. Let me take my shirt and tie off, too. Get so many layers on. Okay, I better I better wear it normal until I can't I can't really see to style it st style it on my head properly. 
I can. Oh, oh. Here's looking okay. It's actually looking real good. Since I cut it, man, a little haircut, even when, makes such a difference. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember not to cut that so short. I'm looking uh, super bald, and uh, when I was catching glimpses of myself in the mirrors in the store today, I was not liking what I was seeing, mostly because I had a hat on like this, and then I looked bald and my ears were all red and my face was all red from being outside and it being cold. But this is kind of cute. I can't, it's not really doing what normally happens with these hats. So I can't really see what's going on. The red is unusual. And I, when I'm looking straight on to you, I can't see the stripes or anything. That's what I don't like. I want to see more of the more of the detail. So I try to push this down. I did it on this one. It seems like this is a very similar style. There are other patterns that are slightly different, but I think they're mostly they're mostly all stripes, but just different kinds of stripes. These just happen to be the same. There are two solids. There's a burgundy solid one that's coming. Anyway, I'll just wear that hat. What else is in here? Got it. The chestnuts. That's what I wanted. Because we haven't had any yet. They're organic and they're from the dollar store. I gotta love that. Did I tell you about the blueberries? Oh no, I thought about the blueberries. It comes with the, the, the next story. <sighs> Why, when I'm making the thing, I guess I'll tell you then. I'll remember to tell you then. Can we finish opening up this bag? What else is in here? Okay, so, oh, we got Boo. So this is one of the figurines that I'm not the hat. Oh, what's happening? I also didn't notice that the bubble was put on wrong. This has a stand on it. So I'm not happy about that. This is one, one of the packaging I want to keep. Definitely the cutest Disney character ever made. I have to put my glasses so I can see. Does it just say Boo? Cute. The figures, the figurine's not as cute as the little girl. Have you seen this movie? I don't love Disney movies anymore. I really liked made-for-TV Disney movies when I was a kid. I loved watching The Wonderful World of Disney. Uh, especially like in the 80s and the 90s, they had some really great, uh, like crazy, like, I don't know, dram drama dramas on. It's cute. It is cute. I don't usually like figurines with a stand, but the three of the, only three Monsters, Inc., uh, I, already, I had these in my collection, and I got them at... Um, they were discounts they were discount toys at a discount store so they were probably like 33 cents each or something and that is why i got them and still really really cute so and then we got a special one of these things today i had this in my collection tiny little clothes pins in a little glass and that, like this is this is everything that I love. It was just from the dollar store in the craft section. But I can use this for my dioramas. Plus, I just love the way it looks. I also have one that is buttons. And I already have clothespins like this. But when I saw this years ago, I bought this. And I bought it because it it's glass and chrome and clothespins. As you know, I love clothespins. I'm making a sculpture out of chrome and clothespins. So, yeah. Joy sparking material. I mean, I could just hold this and look at it and look at the intricate details on it, the design of it. It's just, it's pioneer. It's turn of the century. It's 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 I love it. Oh, and it's got the ju it's got the craft paper on it, and it's got the jute on it. It's got everything. Like I I don't even I was gonna say let me take off this tag, but I don't even want to take off the tag because it's it's got it's it's I mean it's it's printed on it and has the dollar store price on it, and this isn't very nice or anything. But maybe I can maybe I can lose the card. If, 
brown paper parcels tied up with string. Does that make it a cliche? No, I don't think. Am I going to show you what the chestnuts look like? They're so weird. Oh, I, I, I might have told this story before. I was visiting my brother over. It was during the holidays. Uh, I, you know, I, tr I try to eat healthy. He, he does not. I, uh, I, I do eat healthy. Uh, I was so I, I bought lots of these when we went to a mall and I went to the dollar store and I saw that they had these and I like I wanted to be able to have like because in his house he has all kinds of snacks that I don't want to like eat so I was stocking up at the dollar store for snacks that are good for me and that I like to eat so I threw I bought all kinds of these I threw them in my bag and then on the ride and the ride home I was I pulled out one of these to try them and uh, I was eating them and they're all sweet and delicious and I'm not going to eat them right now, but should I? Maybe, should I do it? No, I'm not going to eat them. But I will. I mean, there's six bags of them. There'll, there'll be a time that we're going to eat these together, okay? Relax. I'm going to eat them tonight. Oh, do you know what else I like to do? I like to put the apple cider vinegar, just like I did yesterday with the almonds. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put all the spices on them and put some sea salt on them. They taste really good. Actually, you take one of these, you mix it with the almonds and you put the apple cider vinegar on it and then you make it them all wet and then you put the sea salt on it. Hey, look, we're getting an, a food tutorial already. And then you put whatever, I'm going to put garlic on it and I'll put the rosemary on it and I'll probably put a little bit of the, the what do you call that, spicy, the, the chili powder on it. Yeah, I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them until I have some nuts. Or maybe I'll, I don't know, we'll see how hungry I am afterwards today. Back to the story. So I, I'm eating them and go, and I'm enjoying them. They're sweet and chewy. And he says, can I have some? I mean, they're kind of wet. So I'm, but anyway, I gave him some. This was before COVID. So normally, that would be weird to put some because they're damp in here. That's why, yeah, yeah, I don't even have to put vinegar on these because they are damp, but I want to put the vinegar on it. I like to add the vinegar taste. Anyway, I put some in his hand. He tries to eat it and I can't believe that I don't I I'm not an adult who does that who would ever spit anything out I mean maybe if there was like bugs in it or it was burnt and I didn't know it was burnt or but he 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 went he went Ugh. I think he rolled down his window and spit it out or yeah and I was like oh, oh wasted my delicious my delicious, my delicious, my delicious chestnuts. I mean, they taste good. Like I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I would, I would not spit out a whole food. It's just chestnuts. That's all it is. There's no other ingredient. Chestnuts. And it's Christmas. Chestnuts roasting. Chestnuts roasting. That's what I want. I want to sing that in karaoke, and that's the moves that I do. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your... I find Christmas carols very sexual. I think it's the all the swearing in them. You know, they say Jesus all the time. So we're set up. The... Poverty, uh, what do you call that? Well, no name. A generic brand from the from the grocery store is what we're what we're using in these. Even the spices, yeah, I think all of the spices are also the generic cheap brand. Oh, except we're we're gonna put in some of the very expensive stevia powder, stevia leaf powder, which I think is no longer available in the United States. I think that they don't allow this. Also, I heard somebody say that it causes depression. Makes me happy. It's sweet and delicious and it's not, it has no calories. It has calories, I'm sure, but so few. N nesting bowls. 
I'm going to use the middle one, which is more than enough space, but you need room to stir. So here's a tip. Make the food you're eating in the bowl you're eating it out of. Then you don't waste any. Did you, do you ever realize that? Like when people have bowls, they mix stuff in, they pour that in there. The stuff, there's always residue and stuff left over. That is wasteful. Then you don't have, and you know, if you've seen me eat this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lick every last drop of it because it is so delicious. I bought this on Amazon. I think it was $3. It helped, like, fill a cart to make it, uh, uh, you know, so I got free delivery. However, I did just see one not so long ago at the dollar store that I could have got for a dollar fifty or something. Nonetheless, I already have it. I did want one. I wanted, I wanted something that, you know, was my aesthetic and at the same time beautiful. And so just one scoop of this, which is... What is this? One, one, one cup. You should wash your hands, by the way. Uh, it's uh, one cup. I'm gonna put that in here, and I am gonna wash my hands because I was touching the stuff from the thrift store and all around and everybody is sick right now everybody's getting the flu washing my hands okay not not exactly sanitary conditions uh, I'm I'm really into um, phages though anyway and think that things shouldn't be sterile yet I am um, it is important that you clean with soap and water. How's my new hat looking? Kinda, kinda cute. I should take the tags off of it. Hey, don't touch that, I just washed my hands. Okay, and then the next thing I put in, there is order to this only because I dip the same spoon into the things and uh, uh, there's, uh, there's method to my madness. So I do the salt first. Sometimes I put too much salt in and sometimes I put too little salt in. I don't know. I'm going to put in about this much, even though it's Himalayan sea salt. So it's not as salty, but salt, especially unrefined, it adds an extra, it adds flavor and electrolytes. It's, this is good. This is good for you, salt. Not processed, just taken from the Himalayan mountains, crushed up, put into my oatmeals my oatmeals and then then I go to the stevia because I don't care if I get a little bit of salt in my stevia because that's okay and then usually I some okay sometimes I don't do this today I'm going to because I like to taste the pineapple in it first but I'm going to put in a that's, that's a lot but I like sweet things and I don't eat sweet I'm going to even put in a little more I don't even know if the can of the pineapple is one of the sweeter ones or one of the not so sweet ones. Then, then, so sometimes I skip that step and I put in the stevia last after I taste it. If I'm feeling frugal, extra frugal that day where I want to save the stevia because it's so valuable and expensive. Okay, about, uh, it's about, it's about eight to ten dollars maybe eight to twelve dollars so you could we could average the price out at ten in canada for this tiny bag of 100 grams so i should be spreading it out but it does last quite a bit i put it in my chocolate and then the ginger we take and i'm kind of a spice wimp and i'm putting in a lot of cinnamon so yeah it can get really spicy if i put too much ginger in but we're gonna go I'm going to put a little more than that in. And then we move to the cinnamon. And I 
put so much cinnamon in. And uh, a nutritionist I once knew said that cinnamon is only beneficial when you have lots of it. So I kind of took, and also I love the taste of cinnamon. And it, that also, that is get spicy, but I do put about that much in every time. So that's a lot, but it, it's, and I keep hearing John Tesh keep, keeps bringing it up as well as it being very beneficial. So all the dry ingredients, I will then just mix together in the bowl. There's no cooking in this recipe, by the way. together and then you gotta get you gotta get a cloth one of my my dish cloths and gotta wipe off the top of the lid um, the John Tesh radio show did say something about only using your dish cloth two days in a row that's a new one on me I do like that I don't know if it's plum yeah I have about I have about 14, so th that is possible for me to do. But I like to clean it off because it gets wet, and then this is, this gets wet, and then you use your can opener, which I got from the dollar store, because the one I had was falling apart and not cutting. This one's working really well. And it's not as beautiful. It's not the most beautiful can opener. But sometimes when you open can, it's not happening in this case. The juice starts coming up and there's a little bit of juice. You want to make sure that that's top, that's clean. Or you're eating all of the, oh, no, oh, that stuff that's on there. And uh, I can tell that the color isn't very bright. So this is probably not going to be a very sweet batch. Usually the pineapple is a bit... <clears throat> a bit darker so I will I'm not sure if I'll recycle this can rinse your recycling please people I don't understand why people don't do that you're actually I think you're actually supposed to remove the paper put that separately with the other paper uh, then rinse your cans if you really care about the world. Okay, so then I do that and then I just fold this in. And sometimes, sometimes there's more juice than other times. Sometimes it's really soupy and sometimes it's not. But if it's really soupy, you can just let it lay around and then the oats will eventually absorb it. But it's delicious to eat right away. It's not like overnight oats or anything. I'm sure, it, like, if I let this set around, it's, I mean, it's going to stick to the side of the bowl really badly. That's, that's a bad benefit. It's harder. I have to really lick my finger and then really scrape it off and lick my finger again to get it off if I take too long to eat this. So uh, this, this, this amount worked out really perfectly. And am I going to taste it? Or am I going to stop this video? I think I have to, I think I have to at least taste it. I'm really excited, but I'm going to have to take a thumbnail. And, uh, and it was really great talking to you today. I hope you learned some stuff. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you um, tomorrow for sure. This is so delicious. You you have no idea. Mm. 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 Oh, so good, spicy. Mm. Mm. In a good way. Root spice. Mm.